which after suspending the trading of its shares early last week, MTN Zakele stated trading would resume today. However, a tweet over the weekend and confirmation this morning from Tamela, the company project managing the trading, revealed that a decision will only be made on when trading begins again on Thursday. No trading happening today. Tulani Kavash, the uh, chairman of MTN Zakele, joins us now on the line to clarify the situation. So nothing's happening today, Tulani. What is the likely, or what, what are you likely to be announcing on Thursday, the beginning of trading or just a, a date? Good afternoon, Alec. Um, we are busy in the process of having tests conducted, stress testing, uh, especially on the loads, because that's where the problem is, has really come in. Um, we, we, we just felt we needed to make sure the system was far more robust and stable before resuming trade. We thought this is in the best interest of all those who wish to trade. The, the issue that has arisen is that we had unprecedented volumes. Uh, you know, just in the first two days that were open, uh, over 200,000 shares uh, were traded. Uh, into the call center, there were 92,000 calls in just those two days and 47,000 visits to the website. Now, the issue is concurrent users all logged in at the same time trying to trade. And that it's that capacity we've been trying to deal with. I, I guess the, the real question, and I have been writing about this on biznews.com, is why go with an untested uh, operation, Velocity? Why not use uh, the guys who have been doing this and will be doing it again next week for an equally sized um, BE operation? Yes, uh, well, sometime last year, we, we went into the market um, to, to get some proposals, and we had a consortium uh, led by Link Market Services, of which Velocity is a part, um, and we also had another provider. Uh, the value that was offered at the time uh, when we looked at it uh, clearly favored uh, the Link Market Consortium. Not only that, uh, Link Market Services already has uh, the transfer, the share transfer business. And, uh, you know, the best judgment was there was a team to go with. Are you sorry and, about that and, now? And, well, you know, they, they are experienced. I mean, I, I don't think we want to give you the wrong impression. Uh, Velocity does operate platforms around the world. Uh, they're headquartered in Toronto, operations in UK, Canada, Australia as well as in South Africa, but not on the retail side. So they are a credible player. The difficulties we're having are just the unprecedented volumes. And, you know, we feel that we can, you know, get the system to handle a much higher volume of concurrent users without being too slow or ending up having to, to be shut down. So it's a performance issue under high volumes. That that's really what we're trying to cater for. What happens to those people who have placed their orders um, or who placed orders ahead of the suspension? Well, two things. Those, those whose trades were actually concluded um, have been settled and, and money is in their accounts. Uh, of course, there are those who were still on, on the, who had put in uh, offers or, or um, were selling. Those were going to have to contact uh, because I think when we do reopen, they will have to, they will, they will have the choice to either, um, you know, withdraw their trades or reinstate them. But we clearly have an obligation to communicate with them before that happens. You know, Tilani, I hear what you're saying about uh, unprecedented demand, but I was just looking at my screen here, and MTN today, it's not even, it's only lunchtime, has traded 600,000 shares on the JSC. Your system couldn't manage 200,000 in two days. Surely there's something very serious going on there if, that's too mu if that knocks it over. Well, you know, clearly we're an over-the-counter platform um, as, as opposed to the JSC. And again, even that was assessed ahead of time. You know, should we be on the JSC blackboard uh, or should we go the OTC route? And we took advice. Uh, and, and, and the best advice we're getting is that for the kind of market we're dealing with, it would be better if we have an OTC system. Uh, there's also a view that liquidity might be better on the over-the-counter system. So, you know, I think we did take advice and, you know, went with what, uh, you know, 
clearly was, was the better, better way to go. Do you ha are there any penalty clauses for the service provider? Because the, syst uh, the system going down clearly has had reputational damage for you. Well, I, th I think we, we have the right people looking at all of that. Um, I, I don't think it's anything we can enter into at this point. We've asked them to focus on just giving us a, a, a stable, robust platform that will handle a high number of concurrent users. And we've allowed enough time. We also have an audit firm that will be stress testing and going through all of that very carefully. So just a bottom line, when is it likely to be ready to trade again? As we've said, we think we'll be in a position to communicate that on Thursday. Um, so I, I would really appeal, and I do thank people for their patience, and, and uh, we are, you know, really sorry for the inconvenience, but uh, we would like to announce when we have certainty, and uh, that, will, that will be around Thursday, we believe. Tulani Trabashi, the chairman of MTN Zakele.